What is going on everybody? I'm Mo from TechnoBuffalo.com and this is the T-Mobile HTC Wildfire S. It's the Wildfire S, T-Mobile's newest HTC Android phone. And uh, this one is a little bit more budget friendly than the higher end devices like the Sensation. It's available now for $79.99 after $50 mail-in rebate with two-year service agreement. So 80 bucks after rebate, kind of a mid-tier, I guess you would say, phone. But uh, it's still got Android Gingerbread, Android 2.3 Gingerbread. It's got a full touch screen. It's got HTC Sense. It's got Swipe. It's got a 5 megapixel camera. Uh, it's not 4G. It's 3G. Uh, HSPA 7.2 maximum download speeds. So it's 3G, not 4G, but it is a quad-band world phone if you're going to be traveling abroad. Uh, this one comes in two finishes, black and white. And, you know, the whole idea here is a little bit smaller. Um, it's a 600 megahertz processor, but because the display is smaller and uh, uh, fewer pixels, you don't really need the 1 gigahertz processor to move the pixels around. Uh, but it's a nice compact phone. Obviously, they sent us the white version. While this is booting up, 3.2-inch display. So, uh... We'll get the full specs for you in the graphics at the bottom of the screen down there. See down there, the graphics. So while this is booting up, also in the box, you get, pretty basic, you get your manuals, you get a USB cable, and then you get the modular power adapter. All right, and again, the phone does run uh, Android 2.3 Gingerbread, but it's not the latest version of HTC Sense. It's Sense 2.1. Uh, so we'll get this set up here. English, on-screen camera, or on-screen keyboard, skip, uh, automatically sync data, sure, set up Wi-Fi, we'll do that later, Google location, sure, agree, uh, we'll set up accounts later, just so we can see what the device looks like. Uh, so on the front, you've got your screen, you've got your four capacitive touch buttons on the bottom there, your uh, earphone speaker grill. On the left spine, uh, rocker switch for volume, mini USB port on the right spine, nothing. On the bottom, you've got your uh, microphone openings. On the top, power lock switch and 3.5mm headphone jack. Man, I remember back in the days when I used to complain all the time, why don't they put headphone jacks on phones? And now they all have them. It's, it's great. Uh, 5 megapixel camera on the back with flash, uh, LED flash, 3x digital zoom, just says video recorder on the tear sheet they gave me. It doesn't list the specs of the video recorder. So we will uh, we'll have to find out about that. Uh, what's going on here? I thought I saw something. Oh, all right. I thought I saw basketball there. So that's sad. Uh, I hope he's OK. Uh, anyway, so here's the phone itself. And again, it's the older version of Sense. But you've got all your HTC widgets. You've got your Google search widgets and everything as well. Friend stream, keep track of your uh, Facebook and Twitter updates. The uh, notifications menu here, the notifications drawer, when you pull it down, you've got the quick settings tab there, which is kind of nice. You can uh, easily get to your most used settings. And then we'll go back to the home screen. We'll take a look at the apps, see what uh, extra apps are installed here. We've got 411 and more, uh, the HTC apps, of course, Friendstream, Hub, that kind of stuff, uh, HTC Likes, My Account, My Device, T-Mobile Mall, Slacker Radio pre-installed, Visual Voicemail, uh, Wi-Fi Calling as well, which is cool. So, you know, not too much extra uh, bloatware, if you will, installed on the device. We'll, we'll go quickly back to the internet here, and actually, you know what, let's go from the Let's go from the home screen, see how the voice search works. Techno Buffalo. All right. So this is going over 3G right now, not uh, connected to Wi-Fi at the moment. Mobile version of our site loading up. Phone feels nice. You know, it's a little bit plasticky, but but relatively high quality plastic feeling. Got a nice 
kind of matte finish, uh, not quite soft grip, but a nice matte finish to it. And the size, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of these smaller phones, although I, I don't actually ever buy one. I keep saying I'm a fan of these smaller phones, but I never actually buy one. But I, in theory, you know, I just, I like that companies like HTC are still kicking out these smaller phones, because not everybody wants a giant, you know, four-inch phone. And uh, to have a full-on smartphone with a smaller form factor here is pretty cool, I think. So, quickly we'll load up a uh, post about... It's not right for me to load up a post about a rival phone and a rival network during an unboxing. That's not cool. Uh, you've got a pre-installed 2 gigabyte micro SD card. Uh, of course, you've got GPS, Bluetooth. Um, it's a 1230 milliamp hour battery. Wi-Fi 802BG, uh, 802.11BG and N. Uh, oh, and the display, 320 by 480, so QVGA display, 320 by 480, 262,000 colors, again, 3.2 inches. Uh, the phone weighs 3.7 ounces, and uh, it feels pretty good in the hand. It's pretty responsive. The screen's a little little uh, grippy there when I was trying to slide off, but not, not too bad. Uh, let's go real quick and check out that camera, see if we can find out what the resolution is on. There's no front-facing camera, uh, but we'll see if we can find out what the resolution is for video purposes. Whoops, that's going to take me to the gallery. That's not where I want to go. Uh, 640 by 480. So, we'll not shoot HD. Alright, so there you go. Unboxing first look at the Wildfire S from HTC and T-Mobile. Again, it's available now. $80 on contract after rebate. Available in white and black. Thanks to the folks at T-Mobile PR for loaning us this one. And uh, you know, if you're in the market for a smaller, lower cost phone with uh, full smartphone capabilities, you might want to check this out. I I've just got to just use it, but you know, it reminds me of some of the HTC phones in the past with the smaller form factor, the QVGA display, but ran the full Android experience. And uh, you've got gingerbread here right out of the box, which is nice. Much, much more on the Wildfire S, all the new phones, all the new Android phones, uh, the Photon 4G came out the other day. John's got that one. Uh, some new stuff coming out in the near future um, as well. So whatever it is, we'll keep you up to date on Techno Buffalo, the YouTube channel, the Revision 3 show, the Facebook page, the Twitter accounts, and of course, TechnoBuffalo.com. Until next time, my name's Noah. We'll see you later. There I am. Peace.